Hi guys, day 29 on this EVKK conversion journey and today was all about proper off-road testing. I didn't charge the battery from yesterday on purpose. I wanted to know how long this setup can run under a real stress. I hit the road with Samuel riding shotgun and I went straight into off-road terrain at high speed. Remember, my brakes are still terrible. So that alone was a big risk. Gave it a few hard spins and nothing broke. The welding held up perfect. So imagine when I get proper fabrication done. Got back to the workshop, picked up two more passengers. Now we are four people packed in this EKK. And then we went off-road again at 50 km per hour. Still no proper brakes. Everybody had there. If anything happens, jump out land ready. Another round of madness. Still, nothing broke. Then Moses arrived. This guy took it right to the main road and drove about 5 kilometers as if it was nothing. Me, I wasn't there with brakes that are basically vibes and inshallah. To make it wild, he flew back in the workshop at top speed and drifted the keke. I got it on camera. At this point, I'm convinced Moses is immortal because the risk he takes, unbelievable. We continued testing. More off-road runs, hill climbs, steep descents, everything held up perfectly. By now, we had been at it for about 6 hours. Moses noticed the power dropping, so I told him to head back before we ran the battery flat. Even with the low battery, the keke still climbed the final hill like a champ. We rolled back into the workshop safely and called it a day. Tomorrow, I'll be diving back into the electrical system for more tweaks, and I'll also be testing solar charging. See you guys. Bye.